Hi, hello, welcome back. Today I want to share with you the answer to the question that I get asked an awful lot, which is, what is a Facebook boost post and what's the difference between Facebook boost post and running a Facebook ad? Is there any difference? What's it all about? So let me share the answer with you and clear that up for once and for all. First of all, if you click that blue boost post button on Facebook, you are essentially running an ad. So lots of people I talk to will say, oh no, I'm not running Facebook ads, I just do boost posts. Well actually, if you click that blue button, you are running technically a Facebook ad because you are paying Facebook to share your content to a specific audience. So you're technically running an ad. Now, Facebook make this form of running a Facebook ad very, very easy to do. So everywhere you'll go, you'll see a little blue button that says boost post or promote. It's encouraging you to click that button and then takes you through three or four very simple steps to actually get your ad or your boost post set up. So it can seem to be a very easy and simple option to get the word out there. Now what Facebook don't tell you is that actually you've got three different ways of running ads on Facebook if this is the way that you want to go. You've got boost post, this very simple way that Facebook sort of tempts you with everywhere. You've got what it calls its ads manager which is a platform within Facebook itself for actually going in and creating ads, managing ads, seeing the results that you get, tracking your spend, all that sort of stuff. And then there's almost the next level up which is called Power Editor. And that is Facebook's tool for running ads for those who are maybe running masses and masses of ads and they need ways to actually import a load of text in from another platform, say Excel, or even export a load of results into Excel so that you can analyze the results. Power Editor is like its top-notch ads creator and management tool but saying that it has got layers of complexity that do overwhelm people, it's slightly less intuitive to use than Ads Manager. But it's also the place where Facebook brings in its new tools to do with ads first and then sort of tests them out in Power Editor before passing them down to Ads Manager. So Ads Manager is, for most businesses, the go-to Facebook ads tool within Facebook itself it's the most intuitive to use but it still gives you the whole range of functionality. So what's the difference between, between using Ads Manager to set up a Facebook ad and using the Boost Post option? Well let me explain, when you go into the Ads Manager to set up a Facebook ad you'll be thinking about what it is that you actually want this Facebook ad to achieve for you. And you might be wanting to promote a video and to get lots of people watching the video. Or it may be actually that you want to promote a Facebook page and you want lots of people to like your page. Or it might be that you want to actually send people across to your website or to a landing page and you actually want lots of people to click on the link in your ad and take them through to the website or the landing page. It might be that you want to actually promote a Facebook event, an event that you've set up within Facebook and you want to use ads to promote that as an event. It might be that you want to put a post on your Facebook page and actually get more engagement on it. So you want more people to see it, to respond to it, to, to share it. So you've got all these different outcomes that you might be wanting from your Facebook ads. And if you go into the Facebook Ads Manager or indeed the Power Editor tool, then the first question you'll get asked by Facebook is what result do you want to achieve with your ads? And you get to fill in what well, you just tap the appropriate box there and tell Facebook what it is that you want to achieve. And you might think, well, that's nice. Facebook is showing an interest in my business. But it goes far beyond that because what Facebook is actually doing is it's offering you the chance to tap into all its data to get the best results for your ads. Because Facebook watches how we use their platform. They know whether we are the type of person to click a link or to watch a video or even maybe to buy directly from Facebook. 
they know whether we will click a link and, and go to a website or Facebook if we're happy to do that. They know whether we're likely to actually share a post, for example, or to comment on a post. They will know how much more likely we are to do that than, say, the next person on Facebook. That means they've got a massive pool of data on all their users. So what they can then do is they can share the advert that you've put together with people who are more likely to take the action that you've asked for if you actually select one of those outcomes in the Ads Manager. So your ads will still be shown to the audience that you've asked for, that you asked for in the ad targeting, but the first people that Facebook will show it to will be the people who are more likely to take the action that you actually want from your ads. And this is called optimization, making the most of your time and your budget by showing your ad to the people who are most likely to take the action that you want. And you can imagine the group of people who might be more likely to watch a video, say, on Facebook, could be quite different from the group of people who are more likely to actually click a link and go to an external website, say, because not everybody wants to click away from Facebook. So this is a really powerful way that Facebook helps us to get the best results from our ads. And it's available in Ads Manager, and it's available in Power Editor. One of the options is to put a post on your Facebook page and to share that post using Facebook ads in order to get more engagement, more likes or comments or shares. And that, when you actually click the boost post button, is what Facebook is choosing as the default objective for your ad that you are setting up there. Because make no mistake, when you use boost post, you are setting up an ad but what you don't get there is the choice of choosing who you want your ad shown to in terms of the action you want taken. Facebook will show your ad to people who are more likely to like or comment or share your post. So you won't get that optimization feature that Facebook offers with the Ads Manager and the Power Editor tool that I have just described. Also, when you're setting up Facebook ads in Ads Manager or Power Editor, you get the choice to actually promote a post that you've already shared on your page or to create a whole new post called a dark post. And it sounds terrible, doesn't it? But actually, all it means is that post isn't put on a page wall anywhere. All that happens with that post is it gets shown to the audience that you've selected in your targeting options. And that allows you actually to create a number of different variants of an ad and, and show them out to your audiences without them all having to be posted on your Facebook page because that would look a little bit odd, wouldn't it? Seeing the same post, maybe but with different images or different words or whatever, that would look a little bit odd. Now you can do that within Ads Manager or Power Editor, but again, not within the Boost Post tool. So there are some big differences between using Boost Post and Ads Manager or Power Editor. And in most cases, I would really strongly suggest that you set up your ads within Ads Manager because you will then have far more control over the outcome. You're liable to get much better results for the budget that you actually spend. And you will then also be able to track those results in a much more meaningful way. You will actually be able to see what you've spent Spent to achieve the action that you actually wanted to achieve, whether that's a website click or whether that is a video view, say. However, if you've got a choice between using Boost Post and doing nothing at all, then I would obviously advocate using Boost Post. If you've got a post that you literally do want to just get seen by more people and get more engagement on, then go ahead and use Boost Post. If you've got two minutes to put something together before you race out the door and it either happens using Boost Post or it doesn't happen, then use Boost Post. But please be aware of the functionality and the optimization that you're cutting out by choosing that option and not Ads Manager or Power Editor. So I really hope that that has cleared up that question for you. But if you've got any more questions, then please feel free to ask. I'd be only too happy to answer them and if you've got anything else that you would like me to cover in a future video, then again, please do let me know. But until the next video, I'm signing off for now. So, goodbye and see you.